Oh hi! Welcome to How to Blog Tutorial. My name is Nathan. Today, I will teach you how to build your website or how to start your blog in 5 easy steps using a drag and drop system just like this. See? Very easy. So, don't miss this video. Watch until the end for you to learn how. So, let's get started. Okay, before we start, please click the link in the description below this video. This will bring you to howtoblogtutorial.com website. Now, let's proceed with step number one. Choose a domain. A domain is just your website name. So type in your desired website name and click check. Yes, the website name is available. Now, let's proceed to step number two. Step number two is to get a web host. Click here to get discounts. Click get started. Now select a shared web hosting plan. I would recommend you getting a baby plan. So click buy now. Okay, now let us fill up the form. Type in your desired website name that is available from step number one. The primary domain is now added. Now you can uncheck this if you are not concerned with your personal contact information getting into public view. So I don't mind it, so I will just uncheck. Now choose 12 months or one year. Select a username and select a four digit PIN. And just enter your billing information. Select a payment type. Uncheck protect your site from hackers. Uncheck back up your hard work. As you can see, we are getting a discount of $38.04. Now to get more discounts, just go back to the website and use this coupon code. Type it in and then just validate. Now as you can see, we're now getting a higher or more discount from HostGator. Now read the terms and service and if you agree with it, just click you have read and agree to HostGator's terms of service. And hit check now. Once you had a successful payment with HostGator, HostGator will send you your login credentials. In order to log into your web hosting account, just type in your primary domain followed by column and then 283 and this will bring you to HostGator's control panel just type in your username and your password okay now we are inside HostGator control panel now let's install WordPress click build a new WordPress site select a domain where to install WordPress hit next Type your blog title, admin username, last name, and your admin email. Check the terms of service agreement. Hit install. Installation is now complete and you have the installation details and you have the username and the password. Now let's log in your name and your password. This is your website's back end or your WordPress dashboard. This is where you will do all configurations and changes on your websites. If we will visit our site, now you will have the default theme applied to your website. Now let's proceed to step number three to select a theme. I will do a demonstration on the installation of DB theme because this is what we are highly recommending and the installation of free theme is just similar to the installation of DB theme. Click get DB theme. Now the DB theme can be used in unlimited websites. So you can use this for your clients. You can use this to unlimited number of websites. So just sign up today. Okay, just type in your username, your email, your password. First 
Nice one. And then select a payment method. And if everything is okay, just complete registration. After the successful payment, you can now log in using the, your username and your password. Okay, now we are on our members area. And here we can download a lot of themes. We have the DB theme, the DB builder, and then this other plugins that comes along with it. The extra, which is a very good team with builder as well. We also have Bloom, which is for email marketing, and Monarch, which is for social sharing. These are really very very good plugins that comes along with the purchase of the DB team. You can have access to all of this. Not only that, you can view all the downloads with the different themes and other you know, a lot of beautiful themes that you can use, like 500 uh, themes that comes along with it. Okay, so what we need is to download the DB theme. So just click download. Now, once the download is complete, we go to our website, go to appearance, and go to themes. Click add new theme, and then upload theme. You browse for the file that we just downloaded. DB is here. Then I, I will open that and then I will hit install now. It's now the theme is successfully installed. Just hit activate. And now the DB theme is activated. And this time we'll go to pages and we will add the first page of our website, which is our home page. So click page and add new. Now I will give it a title, let's make it home page, and then I will hit use the DB Builder, and then click use Visual Builder. This is the beauty of using DB because we have thousands of pre-made designs, so I will just click browse layouts. And this will connect us to the thousands of many designs. Now I am working on a children site, so that will be more likely to be on education. This one template looks appealing to me, and I want this template. I can click on that, and as you can see, there are many layouts for this particular template. We have for the home page, the landing page, about page, blog page, and this is really, really very cool. Now, because I am creating a home page, so I will click this template here and click use this layout. Okay, this is step number four, which we need to do, which is to authenticate and link. Okay, all we have to do is to get our API key and here in your account, all you have to do is go to account, go to your API key and generate a new API key and just copy that API key and let's go back here let's input the API key and you type your db theme username and hit submit now this will import all the contents of the template into our WordPress installation okay so it's complete now and as you can see our website is already having a, a home page which is very cool right with just one click we just download it and then voila we already have a finished website and what we can do now is we can save this we can publish or we can save this as a draft all right and you can easily edit by doing so all right and we can also change other element 
Now we can use DB Builder in order to make this our own. Now I will just show you some of the functions and uses of the DB Builder. Now, for example, I would like to add another column here. So I would, I would like to add another section here. So I can easily do that by going to this template. I can easily do that by going to this template and I will hit add new section. And I will make it a regular section here. And I will make it a one column section. And inside that, I like to put a, let me see, or maybe I'll put testimonials on this one column, right? So now I have added this one and you can edit this section by clicking on that gear. You can change the background, change the background color, like green. You can adjust the opacity, All right? You can, you can also go to the dividers and let's put a divider style of, let's choose from the many divider style here. Let's make it something like, because this is for kids, we'll put on top or maybe on at the bottom. We'll put a like this kind of design, which is really very cool. And you can also adjust that divider height. Also, go to the layout sizing. You know, it's basic, basically straightforward. You can do a lot of changes. You can also go by tracking and you know increasing the the padding by going to you know visually by designing doing it visually and that is really very cool now it's really very easy to edit this one and uh, you just need to spend a little time just few little time to master this and you can just imagine what type of websites you can do with this tool in your hand so what I will do is I will just publish this page after editing once this is published I can now again create a new page because I have a home page now then it's time to do the about page and I will use the TV Builder and make sure your template is a blank page so that it will not have any other formats other than the imported template. And then we will use the Visual Builder. Alright, so we'll browse layouts. We'll go to Education. And this is the template that I want. Because I'm creating an About page, I'll select About and I'll hit use this layout so we just need to wait a little bit all right so it's already done and we're just waiting for it to go live all right now we have our about page which is a pre-made layout and also populated with many beautiful designs all right and again just like the home page you can edit by going to that page and changing some text now on our about page as you can see it's it doesn't have our menu unlike the home page you can easily do that by editing the page and using a default template now if you remember because we selected a blank page for this page now if you want it to be default so that it will look similar to other pages like the home page you can select the template and then just update that and if we go back to that page again you'll see that we already have this menu so on the DB theme, we can change the logo, 
by going to the DV and then going to the team options and then you can upload a logo here if you can reset that you can upload your own logo but um, in our example I don't have any logo yet but very quickly I'll just maybe use this uh, mode button as a logo then hit save I'll just hit save and then if we will go to the website and if we will reload you will see that the logo is there okay so that is how you change that of course you will need to change that with your logo so there you go guys that is how db works and that is how wonderful and how fast and easy it is to create professional websites using db theme well there you go guys how did you find it were you able to create your website how did it turn out so if you are still having problems we would like to help so if you want to talk to us and if you want us to help you out just give us a message or contact us and we will be happy to help you out.